Hi everyone. Today we are going to install Komodo ID. It is an integrated development environment as we have Visual Studio, we have PyCharm. Data are being designed for software developers so that we can write, debug and deploy the code in an efficient way. This software is primarily focusing on providing the development and runtime solution for multiple programming languages on a single platform. So without wasting time, let's install the Komodo ID. Here I am using filehorse.com site. I will mention the link in the description. Once you will visit this site, you will be getting this free download option to download the file. Click here on free download icon and it will jump to the different window. Here again we will be getting the option to download the latest version. Latest version we have is 12. And here we can see MSI file is installing. Once it's installed, I'm pasting this MSI file in a separate folder and we'll execute this. Next, here we are accepting the terms and conditions. Next, this is the default path we can see and it's installing here. It will take uh, hardly one minute. Okay, finish. So UI, we will be like this. Where some steps it is suggesting, some programming languages we can see. It is supporting for Golang, Python, Perl, Node.js, PHP, Ruby. So these all the languages are supported by this tool. Going next. And then finish. Here we have to provide the access. So after installing here we have to sign in. Or we have to create the account for Komodo ID. After sign in you will be getting these options to create the new file or to create the new folder project you can create it here also I would like to tell you that uh, this tool we can use for a code editor purpose we can debug here for the version control integration we can use it even for the project management also we can use this software for organizing the project and managing the multiple files in multiple directories customization and extensions we can add here in this id and overall we can say this to this provide a better support of html css javascript and other server side languages like php python and ruby so it supports for the complete web development here I have, uh, I'm going to create a, a new file where I can write the code. So here after installing, I will try to write a code. I will write a Golang code here. So before writing the code, I'm creating a workspace. Workspace name I'm keeping as Komodo project. And within this project, I'm going to create one file that is test.go. Here I will write a sample go program. You can check the basic syntax, Golang basic syntax. Uh, everyone can check in the previous video. Import FMT library. Then I'm creating main function. And here within this main function, I'm going to print one line that says hello erratic code. So this is a simple program we can try to execute here on this ID. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned.